I want to talk about the national debt. So current national debt right now, and the reason we're talking about this is because w- what's happening this week, Bennett? There's a vote happening this week. Yep, to raise the debt ceiling. And it happened, right? Yep, it happened yep. this week. Yep. So we were all looking at, well, when's the vote going to happen? When's the vote going to happen? And it's like they, they run it right up to the last minute pretty much every single time. But right now, the current national debt is sitting at about $30 trillion. It's about $29 trillion is the current national debt. And it's almost unfathomable, that number. Okay, um, Ben, if I had to ask you, how's the U.S. consumer doing right now? Do you feel like they're do- doing pretty good, more income, less debt than they've had in a very long time, or is the U.S. consumer struggling right now? I think you know the, the average consumer is struggling just with, with increased uh, with increased prices everywhere. Yeah. yeah. Well, that's true. That is true. But I will tell you, right now, the U.S. consumer is the healthiest that they've been in quite a long time. Wow. If they've got more money to spend, they've got more money in the pocket, they've got lower debt than at any time in, in, not in history, but in recent history. But why is that? Okay. There's more money out there. There's more money out there. That's exactly right. When you total up the number of stimulus that we did, and I'm not saying right or wrong, look, we had COVID, we had to get through it, it is what it is. But uh, there's about $10 trillion in stimulus going through the system, okay? And this is what I want us to think about. Yes, the U.S. consumer is healthy, meaning they have more savings, they have less debt. But how did they get that money in the first place? Well, a lot of it was the government borrowed money, gave it to U.S. consumers in the form of whether PPP loans or COVID stimulus and or unemployment, whatever uh, that, that government function was, and now the U.S. consumer is healthier because of it. But guess what? The U.S. government is more in debt. And who ultimately pays for that debt? Is it some politician somewhere that uh, have this uh, agreement that they have to pay for it? Who pays for it? It all comes down to us. It all comes down to us. 